Within your lesson planning, consider scheduling tasks in advance. There is a risk sometimes if you publish too much work at the start of the week or before a lesson that students will complete it ahead of time. Whereas one good practice is to have students live, online, interacting at a specific point in time. The benefits of that are establishing and continuing a usual school routine, particularly since most isolation periods may only be 10 to 14 days. Students will be returning to learning in the classroom sooner than they were in the spring and summer. So consider that lesson's place within your wider curriculum. It may be that you want to move an assessment to take place when they're in school and then you move some teaching plan for later in the term for the week that they're learning at home. It may also be though that you do want to assess them while they're at home. Again, you can use tools built into learning platforms to ask them suitably planned questions. You can use plagiarism tools to check that they've not unfairly used things online. Again, you can use multiple choice questions which will give you quick, valuable, formative feedback to use to progress their learning. 